Do you have something in your life that you are so annoyed by and you just really, really, really wish that you could change it? All right, we all do. So listen up, ladies and any gents out there watching. I'm Sierra Sullivan and today's video is all about desire, but not in the way you think it might be. I want to share a quick little story. I was on the phone earlier for one of our group coaching programs and one of the women spoke up and said that she was really hating the fact that every time her husband came home from work, it was like all the oxygen in the room went out because he would come in, he would be grumpy, he would be griping, and her and her daughters would just want to run and just hide. It was like battening down the hatches, right? So every time her husband came home from work, she would get this feeling of dread. Now, obviously, that's not how we want to feel about our husbands. So we talked because that phone call was all about desire and not only just having a desire like, okay, what's the desire that she had? Her desire was not that she didn't, it wasn't about what she didn't want, which was her husband being a grumpy, coming home and pissing and moaning for 45 minutes, but she had a desire underneath that. She knew what she didn't want, but she didn't understand what she did want. So we figured out together that what she really wanted her real desire was to have a husband that she was excited to see when he came home, to have him walk through the door and be joyful and to be able to sit down and connect over dinner and, and authentically share about their day versus the nitpicky energy. So I helped her uncover that that indeed was the desire. And it was hard for her at first because she wanted to go back into the, oh, yeah, right, that's never going to happen. And, oh, I don't know about that. And, oh, I'm so mad at him. But really, at the truth core of it, she had that desire. She wants to connect with her husband and she wants that time to be special versus anger ridden. So what we coached her to do was to start to get in the pleasure of that desire right? To really look at, okay, well, what are the models of that that she can see in movies, in life, in her friendships, in media, um, in magazines? Like, what is the model for that? I actually suggested, like, go watch some Leave it to Beaver <laughs> episodes. Like, get in the energy of what that looks like in a fun and joyful way so that you can then transmute that energy so that when your husband comes home, you have a different experience and you begin to magnetize that feeling, that desire, that experience to you. But it's not about someday I'm hoping that my husband will come home and be nice to me because what do you want to feel when he comes home and, be, and is nice to you? What you want to feel in that moment is what you need to begin to generate in feeling today in order to get the law of attraction working for you so that that experience becomes tangible and real and happens quicker. Sounds fun, right? So I want you to experiment with this in your own life. And, and let me say this. I literally saw a post from her a couple hours later that said, I swear to God, my husband must have been on the call today because he literally walked in with a dozen roses for her out of the blue. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen, when we get in the desire, pleasure feeling around that desire and we hold that feeling and we get excited about that feeling, it manifests. So I want you to try this out in your own life. Think about something that you really want and sometimes you have to think about what it is you really don't want in order to discover what is underneath what you want from what you don't want. And then think about, well, what are your core desired feelings in that and how can you create that today? What are some ideas that you can come up with to begin to get yourself in the energy, the pleasure, the fun, the joy of what you're hoping to get when that comes true or when that stops happening or whatever it is. So I hope you found this, uh, this video valuable and I'd love, love, love to hear your comments below and share if you've tried this out or anything you want to share with me and know that very soon we're coming out with an amazing challenge that's going to help you get more playful, more juicy, more fulfilled, more free and more fun in your life every day so that you can transform and make over any area of your life that's not serving. So we will give you more details soon. In the meantime, tell me what you think and I'll see you soon.